Hi, I'm Brian Krantz, the owner and founder of Inside Passage Yacht Sales, and I've been selling Parker boats since 2004. This is, for so many people, the most important Parker that's built. It's the Parker 2120. It's a boat that almost all of its competition are truly only suited for a river. Whereas I don't know if you know, but the Parker factory is in Beaufort, North Carolina. I was just there last week. Every boat they build is for going out into the Gulf Stream, real ocean, big water. We're gonna show you this boat and we're gonna show you why this 21 foot boat is different than all the other 21 foot boats that are out there. Come on and check it out. Welcome aboard the 2120. Back in the day when I first started selling 2120s, I made up the saying, I want to pave the Puget Sound in 2120s because I think this is the perfect boat for so many different people. We have folks out here in the San Juan Islands and they need a boat for all kinds of things. They want to take their friends and family out whale watching. They want to take their friends and family out for a sunset cruise. They want to go and to over to another island for dinner that night. This boat's perfect for that. Sometimes if they're staying at dinner and they're having too good a time and it goes a little late, they wouldn't mind being able to sleep on it. This boat works for that. Um, if you have a small family and you're gonna go boat camping, this is a great boat to do that with. I've often had someone whose long-term goal was to have a larger cruising boat and they come to me and they say, you know, I just wanna start with a small boat first. What do you think I should get? And I tell them the 2120 Parker, I said, but don't think you'll sell it when you get your big boat because you won't. It's too much fun. It's too easy to operate. It's too easy to find docking for. It's the only boat that if you have family that comes visit, you'll hand them the keys and let them drive it. It's easy to operate. It's fun and it's seaworthy. Almost everything in this size class has bilge pumps that pump all the water that comes over the gunnels out. This boat has a wash deck. So when the rain falls, when a wave comes over, it flows off the boat without going into the bilge and using the bilge pumps. It's so much safer. Remember, North Carolina, offshore boating. This boat's built for it. Uh, we have people all up and down the West Coast that take these boats 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 miles offshore. They can handle big water. Don't go out and put yourself in danger, but if you're gonna do it in a small boat, the Parker 2120 is the boat to do that with. It's not only meant for vacation folks, perfectly wide gunnels for downrigger mounts. Super strong hard top for outriggers if you want. Great fishing back deck. Live well included. And that live well works for everybody, not just the fishermen. People will put their crab in it. People will put their fish in it. People will put ice in it and drinks in it. It's a very multi-purpose thing. There's extra seating on the back deck. And still, even in only a 21 foot boat, a whole bunch of room for operating, fishing, doing whatever you want to do. Uh, this was my first boat, Parker 2120. I took my family out. We had an umbrella that went here, a rug that sat down. We'd spend days and days, weeks sometimes, over a week, out camping on a Parker 2120. It was incredible. We had the best time with it. You can see they can have rod racks, we've got deck lights an awesome horn, and a cabin, and a lockable door. Very few boats in this size category actually have a fully lockable door. When that, that means a lot more than just security. It means you can heat the cabin. It means you can close it and it's quieter. There's all these reasons why it's very nice not to have to worry about canvas on the back of your boat. Come on inside with me. Welcome to the cabin on the Parker 2120. You can see full electronics ready for a radar on the top, you just plug it into the back and go. Yamaha gauges, VHF, stereo system, speakers on the back deck and inside, wiper blades, lifting front windshield, all kinds of excellent features. A lot of folks think, oh, if I'm in a cold water climate like the Pacific Northwest, why do I want a windshield that opens in the front? I don't know if you know, but if you're out at night, later on in the day, you get glare, it's hard to see through the glass. If it's foggy and you can't see very well and you're trying to listen, you put this window right up, your visibility increases and you can hear everything that's going on out in front of you. 
a big safety feature. They're stored down along uh, the captain's side, a beautiful, comfortable seat. And then we've got this large seat with storage right here, tackle box right there, drop-in storage on this side, and a lot of storage in behind the seat. When we used to take my family out, we would take one person, sit them facing forward like this, and then we could sometimes get two people behind them. So we could have four people all seated in the Parker while it was driving. I'll show you down into the forward bedroom. It's a little tight in here, but plenty of room for two adults to sleep, as well as having a porta potty underneath the seat. Privacy curtain here and privacy curtain here. A hatch right above you so you get some natural lighting. I've spent many a night in a Parker 2120 forward cabin. Let me show you some other things about the outside of the Parker 2120 that make it truly unique in this size category of boat. One of the most dangerous things is going forward on a vessel, whether to put out a fender or having to take care of the anchor. Their commitment to the wide gunnel allows an incredibly safe walk forward. Now this is a walk forward but that would be impressive for a 50 foot boat, a 40 foot boat. Here we are on a 21 foot boat with a nice comfortable walk forward. Every part of the Parker is strong and stiff. The decks are strong, the roof is strong. Everything about it is durable commercial grade built. You see there's plenum along the roof. That's to run wires and cables. Makes it quite easy to do it yourself if you'd like, but makes it so a professional if you're paying them can do it much quicker. You can see I can just walk right off, no problem. Parker makes a really nice anchor locker. It's planned. It fits the right size anchor comfortably and securely so it's ready to deploy quite easily. We'll continue to just walk right back down the other side. Both sides are wide and easy for transit. What you're going to find in a Parker 2120 is the boat is solid in the water. The boat is strong. It can handle waves. It can handle bad weather. Usually you're uncomfortable, but the boat has no problems in it. Let's go down outside the front and I'll show you some of the hull features on the Parker 2120. This is one of the things that makes Parker different than any of the boat in its size category. Really, go to the front of any boat you're looking at. Are you going to take it in the ocean with you? If you are, then you want to see this flare. They call this Carolina flare, right? This is the, these are the things that keep the water in the ocean and out of your boat. And the Parker is unique. The 2120 Parker, there's almost no boat that has flare like this. Not only are they flared to keep the water out of the boat, but just in case it gets in there, Parkers are all box, stringers, foam filled, and sealed and encapsulated in the boat to give them great flotation. Come to Inside Passage Yacht Sales and check out one of our Parker 2120s. I think you'll be hooked.